Oh my god. So sad. What happened? My mommy's in town, your guys' favorite. Oh, look at my hair! <laughs> no, no. No more mommy content. The people love you! Good morning, everybody. I woke up this morning to my espresso machine being broken. It's been making my coffee a little bit weird, but I haven't been able to figure out what the problem was. So I was just kind of ignoring the problem. And then today it just like everything blew up in my face. I no longer have an espresso machine. So that was upsetting. But in other news, today is my last day as a teenager. When you're watching this, my birthday will have far passed and it will all be a memory. My teen years have been something else. It was really quite a decade for me and it's kind of sad to see my teenager years end, but also not really because I don't really care. But I want to live it right today. I'm going to have a fun day and I'm going to fucking make it fun. And I'm going to force myself to not lay in bed all day like I have been for the past six months. I have a few things in my mind, a few ideas, but first I'm going to the gym. I know. It's kind of out of character. I'm turning into a gym rat. Like I've been really genuinely like unironically genuinely enjoying going to the gym recently. It's almost like one of these things where I'm like, I don't want anyone to find out because I'm like embarrassed for some reason. There's really nothing embarrassing about it. It's extremely normal, but I'm, I don't know. Like there's something embarrassing about it for me. Like I'm embarrassed. I can't put a finger on it. I got my birthday nails done yesterday. They're these 3D bubble color bubbles. I'm not a big birthday person. And honestly, it kind of makes me anxious. It makes me anxious when people do nice things for me. So you can imagine birthdays for me are kind of anxiety inducing because it's just people doing things for me and saying nice things to me all day. So I'm not the biggest birthday person. I don't really care about doing big stuff. I don't really have any big birthday plans. It's probably just gonna be like any other day. Maybe go to dinner. This is kind of a big birthday. I mean, this birthday, you know, I'm going from teenhood to my 20s. So even though I'm not really planning anything crazy, I still want it to be a good day. And I definitely want to look good, which is why today I'm going to try to search for a birthday outfit. I have not gone shopping in probably a month and a half, but I do want to try to find a birthday outfit. I don't care if people wish me a happy birthday, couldn't care less. I just want to wear a fucking dope outfit on my birthday. I also was thinking I kind of want to get another piercing. I also want to change out my nose ring, which I can't do by myself. I need to go in and then they do it. So I'm going to try to do that today, but Lord knows, like whatever, if that's going to happen. Oh, and I also want to go get myself a new espresso machine as my birthday gift to myself. But first we're starting out with the gym because weirdly enough, I actually enjoy going to the gym. Done! Last workout as a 19 year old. I need to go home and shower and then we can figure out what's next. You know what I smell like? I smell like a cup of instant noodles, like instant ramen. Like it's not sweat smell, it's like salt. Like I smell like salt. I'm gonna Google it. Does that mean something? Is something wrong with me? It means I have a lack of sodium in my body. Oh, or I've been eating too much salt. Wait, what's the answer? Okay, I guess I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyway, see you in a sec. I'm back and I'm clean. What are we doing today? It's 11 in the morning. I blow dried my hair. I don't know, I was feeling fancy. Um, I have a few things that I wanna do today and I wrote them down on a list. Number one, go shopping for a birthday outfit. Number two, go to the container store and get a bunch of different little containers so I can organize my refrigerator. I don't know how to justify that, but I would like to do that today. I wanna try to find a new espresso machine and try to buy one. I would like to get an ear piercing because I just like feel like I'm due, like I'm long overdue for a new piercing. I want to go to the grocery store and buy some sort of cake, cookie, cupcake, something fun for my birthday tomorrow. But I want to pick it out myself because I'm picky. And those are all the errands I want to try to run today. I need to get some caffeine in me. So we're going to go get a matcha. Shocker. Are you guys surprised? Okay. Hey, what the f fuck? Oh my God. This motherfucker literally was just speeding down my street and he was like swerving around my street anyway. And then he flipped me off. Um, something's in the air in LA, bad vibes. Anyway, I've been very unmotivated to do anything recently, but I woke up today at 7 a.m with this like burning passion for life. And I was like, I'm gonna get piercings today. I'm gonna go shopping. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm gonna do all of it. And I, it feels good. Basically the reason why I'm saying this is because 
Um, if you're watching this and you're like, I have no motivation to do anything right now and I feel like I never will again, let this be comforting for you that I have literally not wanted to get out of bed for like a month and today I woke up and I just wanted to get out of bed. It happens. You can't predict when it's gonna happen, but if you just keep pushing through, it'll pass. And today I feel energized and motivated and happy and it's great. I think I'm gonna go to one of my favorite vintage stores to try to find an outfit. Let me take this. Okay, I'm gonna go into this vintage store, crossing my fingers. I'm going for something not too crazy, but something a little bit out of my comfort zone maybe. Let's see what we find. Did I buy things? Yes. I actually had a relatively successful shopping trip. I didn't get like a full outfit, like a full birthday outfit, but I got a few pieces that I can mix with pieces that I already have. Time for a haul. First thing I got is not really for a birthday outfit, although I may wear this on my birthday because it's very me. It says, it's a vintage tee that says, leave me alone. I love it. Next I got, this is another thing. This I'm definitely not wearing on my birthday because it's not warm enough, but I bought this long sheer black skirt that I can wear as a bathing suit cover up. It just fit really well. Okay, this I wanna wear if I leave my house past 7 p.m. on my birthday. This jacket, it's so cute. And I was thinking if I'm feeling really spicy, I could wear this underneath. It's a lot. I love that. I think that's so cute. Like the colors match perfectly with some black jeans or some black leather pants or a black skirt. Oh, <gasps> black skirt. So that's possibly my birthday outfit. And then I also got two birthday gifts for myself. Two pairs of sunglasses, little vintage sunnies. First we have these. I don't know. I just like them. And I know that they're Dior, but I can promise you that they were only a hundred dollars, which isn't that bad. It's my fucking birthday, okay? I also got these. Cute. Wait, these are so cute. I'm happy. I'm a happy girl. Okay, next I think I'm going to go to the container store, which if you don't know what that is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a store that sells a bunch of different kinds of containers. And I think I'm gonna get refrigerator organizers because let me tell you, I saw this photo on Pinterest of like a super organized fridge. I saw this photo and I was like, I have to do this with my own fridge because now that I cook for myself, it's like, it's time. And I was gonna order everything and do it, but then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to the container store, pick out everything. It's gonna be an absolute ball. And now that I'm turning 20, I'm basically a grandma. So doing things like organizing my fridge fits my new vibe. I remember when I was younger, my mom was obsessed with the container store because she was like, this is the best place on the planet because it's just a store with a bunch of different containers and ways to organize things, like a bunch of different drawer organizers, like all kinds of organizers that you can imagine. Any kind of plastic organizer that you can imagine the container store has. This store was like my mom's favorite store when I was growing up and I was always like, can you shut up, shut up. And then now I'm older and I'm like, girl, I'm sorry for everything I said, I get it. Okay. Tell me why that was so fun. Tell me why I just had the most fun I've ever had in the container store. It's the most bizarre concept for a store. It's literally just containers, but I got so much good shit. I'm gonna organize the fuck out of my refrigerator later, refrigerator later, but I do have some bad news. The espresso machine that I want is only available in a store that's 45 minutes away from me. Not worth it. You know, it's actually been so awkward today. I've gotten like multiple birthday texts. For some reason, everybody thinks that today is my birthday. It's not my birthday today, it's tomorrow. Do I tell them that it's not my birthday? Or do I just play along? Now we're going to the grocery store so I can pick up some birthday sweets. Because at the end of the day, the only person you really have is you. And I'm not going to rely on somebody else to get me a cake or to get me cupcakes or something. I'm going to get them myself because I know what I like best anyway. I also want to get more apricots because apricots are in season and they're absolutely fucking delicious right now. The grocery store is very busy right now and I'm contemplating going later, but I'm also like, 
I'm here. What do I do? What the fuck is this person doing? Somebody's literally trying to park in a spot that's not a real spot. Oh my god, you're so fucking stupid. Seriously, am I having road rage today or is everybody just driving badly? This is like the most errands I've ever, I've run in probably six months. Like I have not been to three stores consecutively in like two months. Like normally at this point I'd be tired and I'd be like, fuck it, I'm going home. But I have like energy today. So this is like natural, well, I did have an energy drink. But I drink these every day. So Emma turning 20, maybe Emma's turning 20 and her depression is going away. But I'm not gonna get wishful thinking because it has not gone away for six, seven years. So, but I'm having a good time. So grocery store time. grocery store run was a success. I got some cupcakes that have ingredients in it that won't hurt my stomach. Look what else I got. Are you fucking kidding me? I also got strawberries and broccoli and two nectarines, but I'm not gonna pull them out of the bag because you've fucking seen those fruits and veggies before. Like you don't need to see them again. Wait, I kind of want to try a little bit of the cupcake now, but I'm like, Emma, no, save it for your fucking birthday. I'm gonna save it for my birthday. Some girl's watching me film right now and judging me. So I'm gonna drive away before I discuss how delicious that was. Oh my God, she's fucking telling her friends. She's like telling her friends, she's like whispering to her friends right now as if I cannot see, as if I do not have two eyes. I see that you're talking shit about me to your friends. Did you know it's my birthday week, bitch? I bet that girl does not know it's my birthday week and she's fucking bullying me. I try to buy desserts that have ingredients in it that won't hurt my stomach because like if it's my birthday, I don't wanna have a stomach ache, you know what I'm saying? But these like, you know, gluten-free, vegan, uh, dairy-free, sweets. Sweets that are gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, stuff like that. When you get those, they're hit or miss. Like you don't know if it's gonna be good or not. Luckily that one was good. You know, it's kind of funny how like freaked out I get when people watch me film or like judge me. Cause in LA people are judgmental sometimes. It's just, you know, what do you expect, right? But it's funny how I like, care sometimes because then when I really think about it, I'm like, they're never gonna see me again. There's no reason for me to care. Okay, so my mom's in town. She wanted to try the cupcake because me and my mom have similar stomach issues and so she That's can so eat this. <laughs> but also don't eat too much of it because this is my birthday treat. Well, I have another one. Yo, you have to have the frosting. I know. No, the frosting. Oh my God, that's amazing. Right? Oh, are you cutting a piece? How am I gonna put my mouth on that? It is hard. It's so Did you just say that's what she said? No. Isn't it so good? You can have the rest. Mm -mm. I know. That's fun. Very delicious. Thank you for sharing. You are so welcome, Queen. Why did that just take my day? You know what time it is. It's time to organize the fridge. I feel like this is gonna be fun, but I feel like also I might start getting bored after 20 minutes. So we will see. Okay, so first I'm gonna put all of my fruits and veggies into these little containers that are supposed to make them last longer. So first we have some raspberries. I don't know if this is efficient. Like, I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to do this, you know, like before I start getting frustrated. We'll see, maybe I'll be able to keep this going. Okay, my strawberries don't fit. This is already going bad. I'll eat one. Oh wait, those are moldy. Are you kidding me? I just bought mold, I just spent like $20 on moldy strawberries. Okay, this is my next container, strawberries. Wait, look how nice this is. All of my little drinks in their own little container. I put all my sparkling water, all my sparkling waters into one. Is this a waste of time? All my coffee creamer. Is this, am I, what am I doing? Oh my God, they're too big for my refrigerator. Guys, this is quickly backfiring. Oh no. Nothing fits. Nothing fits. I'm not gonna let this ruin my day because it's my fucking birthday, but I did get to organize this. It's honestly a little bit less messy than before, so that's kind of exciting. But for the rest of the fridge, um, I am in pain mentally, um, but I'm really gonna try to make it work. So give me another like hour and we'll see what I come up with. This is not going well. It's just not helping. Like it's not making my fridge more organized. Like it has made no difference, but on the other hand, this is actually kind of amazing. There are special containers to keep your fruits and veggies fresh. So at least we have that. I'm going to put everything back in my fridge and uh, move on to another activity for the day because I'm a little bit devastated and frustrated. Um, so I can't, I don't want to think about this anymore. Okay, wait, honestly, I just rearranged things for like an hour and I feel really good. Like. I just wasted half the day doing this, but I actually feel like it looks good now. You just have to ignore the fourth row because that's not organized right now, but the rest looks pretty good. I mean, it's kind of good. Like I have all my almond milks here. 
And then I have all my fruit juices here. There's like cranberry in the back and lemon and lime. And then I have my creamer. The ones in the front are my mom's, but you know. Then here I have all my sparkling waters. Then I have some of my homemade egg white bites. Then I have some hummus. And then I have my mom's leftovers. And then I have some drinks here. All of my fresh fruits and veggies and some leftovers. And then vegan meat and vegan cheese and some salsa and pickle. I mean, it's kind of random. It's still random, but it's better than before. Like, I think it's more aesthetically pleasing. I mean, that's pretty aesthetically pleasing. I mean, listen, we made it work. I actually ended up using all the containers too. I found a place for all of them. So this wasn't useless. Hi, um, do you guys have any availability today for two ear piercings and um, a nose ring change? Yeah, when are you looking to come in? I could be here at two, yeah, there at two. Okay, perfect, great, see you at two. Okay, so we're getting piercings now. I think I'm gonna get, uh, I don't wanna get anything on this ear. I think I'm gonna get, wait, what side do I sleep on? I don't remember. Um, I think I'm gonna get one right here and then one, I don't know. I don't really know yet, to be honest. I really don't know. I'm literally gonna wing it. I'm just gonna wing it. And then I'm gonna get a gold nose ring because I've had the silver one for way too long and it's pissing me off. But anyway, I need to literally leave right now because it's 1.40 and my appointment is at two. Am I spontaneous today, guys? Literally, when have you seen me with this much energy? I am on one today. So the funny thing about me and piercings is that I get piercings all the time, but it's really like hit or miss whether or not they get infected with me because I have very sensitive skin. So like my body doesn't react well to piercings. So I like get them and there's like a 50, 50 chance that they'll heal. So I've gotten like this cartilage up here done multiple times, but it's gotten infected every time. And so Lord knows whether or not these are actually gonna last or if they're gonna get infected, but I, I don't know, all my piercings right now are healed up pretty well, so I feel like there's a good chance. There's a prom, well, not really. There's not really a promising chance. Maybe I'll just get one today. I said two, but maybe I'll just do one because I need to kind of cool down. I'll do two, fuck it, like whatever. Chances are one of them will get infected, so then at least I'll have the other one. I just got here. I'm warning you, I'm not gonna film in there because I am very intimidated by people who have lots of tattoos and lots of piercings, and I'm going into a tattoo and piercing shop. Therefore, I will not be filming in there because I'm always scared of the people in there. Like, they're always intimidating without fail. So I'll see you after, wish me luck. Here are my ears now. Here's my nose ring now, and I'll see you after. You guys. Okay, number one, look at my little gold nose ring. So much better, and it's also smaller, so it looks better on my nose, see? And then I got this one on top, right here. That's the only one I got, because I was like, I'm not gonna overdo it today, I'm not in the mood to overdo it today. So I just got that one, but I'm obsessed with it. I love it, I think it looks so cute. And I like my new little gold nose ring, so that was very successful. Another little birthday gift to myself, some new jewelry and a new piercing. Just two besties chilling in bed. So, ow, my ear piercing is hurting. I am planning on reading my book. I'm reading 1984 by George Orwell. I'm almost done. I have approximately 40 pages left. I'm gonna read some of this right now. And then I'm also going to write in my journal um, for the next, say, probably 45 minutes. And then I actually am going to dinner, not really like a birthday dinner, but like kind of a birthday dinner with my friends, three of them. I don't have, that's actually all I have. We can get ready together and it'll be fun. But for now, I think I need to have some chill, relaxing bedtime with my book and my journal. It's good for me. I got dressed and it only took me an hour. Only an hour? Let's see if you can see it in here. So, it's time to get ready. I, I don't know if I like, I might change my shirt. The shirt might change. Guys, I swear to God I've done, I did more today than I've done in two weeks. So I'm actually exhausted and the thought of going to dinner right now is scaring me because I'm exhausted. I also kind of hate my outfit, so I'm gonna have to really think about that. I think the reason why I'm confused about this outfit is because it's not comfortable. Today we're doing quick makeup, quick and dirty. I don't think I like my outfit. I don't, I hate it. Okay, well I will be changing my outfit after this, but I will finish my makeup first and then we can have an entire another crisis about my outfit. I don't wanna be predictable. That's why I was like, okay, today we're coming out 
with the plaid pant, but the plaid pant is giving me a wedgie in all areas. Every time I use this cream bronzer, I'm really like risking my life here because I'm like, this could either look really good or really bad. And like, I'm, I take a risk every time I use it. See that like looks not good. Oh, it looks so much worse on camera. It looks bad in person too, but listen, nobody said it had to be perfect. I tried to pluck my eyebrows a little bit last night cause they were getting out of control. And I think I might've actually did a good job and I've never in my life been able to pluck my eyebrows, but I tried last night and I like really took my time and like really was methodical and thoughtful. I think I actually did kind of a good job. I mean, they're still a mess, but like they were like bad yesterday. Like they were really bad. Birthdays are always crazy. Cause it's like, who's gonna come out of the woodwork and text me that hasn't texted me in like a year. Like that's exciting. It's like, what motherfucker is gonna decide to come out of the blue and text me happy birthday. My makeup's not going well today. Um, it's safe to say that, but it's okay. Cause I'm gonna blend it with my finger until it looks good. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm also getting irritable because my ear is aching from the piercing and it's like the most frustrating ache because it's like not that bad, but it's just like dull. We're doing some highlight. <coughs> I'm mad about having to change my outfit. Like I don't want to change my outfit, but I like know I need to cause I hate it. Once my lips get drawn on, everything changes. Like I am a brand new bitch. Every time, brand new bitch. Add a little sh shimmer and shine. Last but not least mascara. Listen, I'm quick. How long did that take me? Like 10 minutes. Ow. Oh fuck. Ow. We did it. We're ready. I'm gonna go change my outfit, but I'm not taking you with me because you don't need to go through that. Like it's gonna be excruciating for me. So like, I don't want you guys to have to go th through that. Go through that. I'm not happy. I was so tempted to wear my birthday outfit a day early because it looked so good. Sorry, I didn't show you. We settled on this boring fucking black skirt, pink, purple shirt, in a little cardigan, whatever, I'm done. But anyway, I need to go to the, I, oh my God, I'm like talking too fast and I can't get sentences out correctly. I need to go to dinner. I'm excited, even though I don't like my outfit that much. Lord knows I'll probably change three more times, even though I don't have time. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me today on my last day of being a teenager. By the time you're watching this, I will have been 20 for probably like two weeks. So the hype will be over, but I'm glad that I got to spend today with you and I love you so much and I appreciate you so much. There was your forehead kiss. There's another one just for good measure. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go to dinner now in my boring outfit. Bye. Love you.